questions about how campaign money was spent surrounded Maziarz's decision not to seek re-election. There are also questions tonight about the campaign spending of another Western New York State Senator. News 4's Rachel Kingston is here with more on this. Rachel? The now defunct Moreland Commission to investigate ethics and political wrongdoing among Albany lawmakers named Senator Maziarz at number one and Senator Patrick Gallivan at number three on its list of questionable campaign expenditures. Before it was disbanded by Governor Andrew Cuomo in April, the Moreland Commission on Public Corruption had been focusing on how Albany lawmakers spend the money that is donated to their campaign war chests. Moreland listed State Senator Patrick Gallivan at number three for unexplained campaign expenditures. According to an article in City and State magazine, Gallivan was found to have $80,000 in unreported campaign credit card charges. The magazine says that figure included hundreds of dollars spent on casinos, cigars, tanning, and salons. We know that Moreland looked at the entire legislature and their campaign spending, and it's important to note that we are talking about voluntary campaign contributions and not taxpayer dollars. Nonetheless, Senator Gallivan tells News 4 he's taken steps to make sure his campaign is following state elections law. Gallivan says after the Moreland report, he instructed his staff to review their own books. When some questions were raised, I directed our campaign staff to look at our filings, which we have always tried to ensure compliance with all the laws, but to look at them to make sure that we, that we are fully compliant, and I'm confident that we indeed are. Senator George Maziarz topped Moreland's list with $140,000 in unspecified campaign expenditures. Maziarz has said that Moreland played no part in his decision not to seek re-election. George has articulated that it was a personal reason. It was made for his family, something he's been thinking about it, thinking about for a, a long time, and I think unless we're shown otherwise, we have to believe what he said. Gallivan, meanwhile, says he will run for re-election in the fall. I am fully committed to the 59th, 59th Senate District. Although the Moreland Commission no longer exists, many of the documents it compiled have been turned over to U.S. Attorney Preet Bharara in Manhattan. It remains to be seen whether that will result in any criminal charges. And it's also worth pointing out that Moreland only looked at state legislators, not the governor, not the attorney general, nor the state comptroller. Rachel Kingston, News 4 at 11.